Frank Senecarofi? Here. Steve Church? Here. Here. Thank you. Would you please stand for the pledge in a moment of silence? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, so we have uh, some house creeping duties to take care of for, uh, for reorganization. Uh, I'm going to try to do these in uh, lux. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, have a motion to uh, appoint Patrick Morrell, attorney for the town, uh, special counsel attorney Bolin Code, and labor relations attorney Van Chet and King. Have a motion for that, please. I'll make a motion. Second? Second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, appoint uh, Barton the Judas <coughs> as engineers for the town of Seneca Falls and the MR Bree Group, <coughs> excuse me, uh, as drainage energy engineers for the town of South. Have a motion for that, please. I'll make a motion we do that. Thank you. And a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, can I have a motion to appoint uh, Bernard P. Danigan Group as financial consultant to the town? I'll make a motion. Thank you. Second? Second. And all in favor of that, please say aye. Aye. We will have to, in February, appoint uh, the auditors for the town. Uh, we're in the middle of an RFP for that, and that's due January 6th. So at the February meeting, we'll appoint the auditors for the town. Um, and I'd like to have a motion, please, uh, to appoint MRV Group as our grant writing service provider for the year 2023. Motion for that, please. Make the motion. Thank you. Second? Second. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Um, can I have a motion to appoint Catherine Langford and Linda Walcott as deputy town, deputy town clerks, uh, and Linda Marzan as deputy town clerk, tax collector, and court clerks, Ashley Van Doren, Courtney Adams. Have a motion for that, please. I make the motion. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank oh, you. We got to leave. I'm sorry. I'll suck it. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, I don't need a resolution for that. I'm appointing uh, Caitlin Laskowski as the deputy supervisor for 2023. Uh, my practice has been I've tried to move it to each of the board members. Uh, uh, every year, so uh, Caitlin's turn is up this year. Um, I have a motion to appoint uh, Brian Jensen as Deputy Highway Superintendent. I make a motion. We Thank you. That. Second. Second. And all in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, I have a motion to appoint Brian DeBay as Deputy Wastewater Treatment Plant Operator and Fred Peterman as Deputy Wastewater, or excuse me, Deputy Water Sewer System Operator. Motion for that, please. I'll make a motion we do that. Thank you. Second? Second. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Um, I'd like to have a motion to appoint uh, Nicoletta Greer as Assistant Zoning Officer, uh, Linda Wolcott to Secretary to the HPC Planning and Zoning Boards, uh, Nikki, Nicoletta Greer to Registrar of Vital Statistics, Catherine Langford as Deputy Registrar of Vital Statistics, uh, Nicoletta Greer as Records Management Office Officer. I have a motion for that, please. I make the motion. Thank you. And a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Yep, sorry about that. Yep. No, you, that's a, you got the old one. <laughs> so no need for that. So. Uh, can I have a motion to appoint Dylan Jenkins as the dog control officer? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Um, I'd like to have a motion to appoint the following people to the Parks and Recreation Commission. Uh, David Baker. Shannon Kelly, Victoria Clark, and Christina A. Motion for that, please. I make the motion. Thank you. Uh, and also, I'm sorry, uh, Interim Police Chief Timothy Snyder is an ex 
official uh, to that board. Second, motion. Second. And thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I'd like to uh, have a motion to appoint Maria Scholes to as a member of the planning board. Can you have a motion for that, please? We make the motion. Thank you. And second? Second. Was there a second I missed? Yes. yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, and also, uh, well, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to appoint Matt Blair as an alternative to the planning board. Motion for that. Motion. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. I'd uh, like to have a motion to appoint uh, Daniel Amo as a member of the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. I'll make a motion. Gerald Drake and Christopher Knapp as alternatives. Motion? Make a motion. Second? Second. Thank you. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Dan, congratulations. Uh, thank you for your years of time and service. And how can, we, how can we not appoint you? You're the zoning uh, zoning officer, zoning board of appeals person of the year. So, <laughs> have a motion to appoint uh, Sean Painter to the Heritage Preservation Commission and Dan Babbitt and Claire Lot of Equals alternatives, uh, alternates, I should say. Motion for that, please. Make the motion. And a second? A second. And discussion? Yeah. Um, the only question I have is that uh, some of these boards, do we, do, like when there's a vacancy, do we, uh, do we like advertise to see if anybody else is interested? We, we do that. Uh, we also, um, we also I, I, I go to the, uh, I go to the, or the Republican Party. Uh, and ask them if there's anybody interested, since the Republicans are in control. Uh, I have reached out to different people on, uh, for anybody interested in heritage preservation. I know you did as well, right? Yeah. And you didn't have much luck, I don't think, either. Uh, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I mean, that, that's the answer to the question. But, yeah. you know. Okay. Okay. Any further questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Dan, thank you again for volunteering. Um, appreciate all you do. You got a question, sir? Do we, st uh, Nikki? Do you still need that paperwork? Yes. Yes. Okay. To be finalized. Yes. Okay. okay the state auditors live here now, so we need all the paperwork, okay. all the T's crossed, all the I's dotted. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh, like to make a motion to appoint. Uh, Entertain a motion to appoint Dan Moore or Dwayne Moore uh, as cemetery commission and Fran Barbary as town historian. A motion for that, please. I'll make a motion. Motion and second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank does, Dwayne, you. What, does Dwayne live here any longer? I thought he lives in Sodas. He does, but he has a business here. He still runs this, the funeral home. Yeah, but he, so he lives in Sodas, doesn't he? It's a it's, You can't live in two places. You can't live in two places. But he does run his he does run his business here. What is the position that he's being appointed? Uh, Reappointed to the cemetery. Cemetery to the commission. Yeah, to the commission. So I mean, it's not like you're a board member where you have to be on the vote. It's a commission. It's a well, it's not, it's not a public it's a office. Member, so it's not a public office. office. Right. It, it's certainly something to be considered if you'd rather have well, a, I'm just wondering if you'd rather have a resident. I don't know what the rules are. are. I mean, if the yeah. rules are, you need to reside in the... Nope. You can live outside the town? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter where you live. Okay. Can we vote on him? Yes. It, this is just um, to make yeah. him a member of the... Yes, a member yeah. of the commission. One Mike two. Kelly's a member. He's already K. a member. Yeah. And, and now yeah. he's, already he's been on there. Yes, he's been on there. <laughs> no, he definitely lives in Sodas. He lives in Sodas. Okay, we're skipping the next one. Okay, uh, that won't be no point will be made there. Where? Uh, the auditors. Auditors. Okay. okay. <coughs> That'll be done in February. I have an RFP out as per the auditors making or the comptroller is making me put an RFP. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to entertain a motion that the official meeting day for the town 
Board of Central Falls will be the first Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. Motion for that, please. I make the motion. I'll Thank second. you. Second. <coughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, I'd like to have a motion to appoint uh, Community Bank, Five Star Bank, M&T Bank, First Niagara Bank, Lions <coughs> National Bank, and the Finger Lakes Times as the official town newspaper uh, and the banks, the official banks of our town. Can I have a motion for that, please? I make the motion. Thank you. Second. second. Thank you. Any problems or questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, mileage will be the current IRS mileage rate per diem, uh, which I just got notification, Nikki, it's up to 65 cents as of today per mile. Uh, can I have a motion to adapt our current procurement policy that is in place? <laughs> I make the motion. Thank you. A second. Uh, thank you. This was updated about uh, two years ago, and uh, it's met. Uh, it's gotten uh, approval from the auditor, so uh, I don't think there's any need us for it to go in and try to reinvent the wheel. It was recreated uh, with the help of Frank Rizuka two years back. So, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Um, I'd like to entertain a motion that we adapt the Robert Rules of Order to conduct our public <coughs> meetings. I have a motion for that, please. Make a motion. Thank you. And second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, these are all board committee appointments that uh, the supervisors make, so please make these part of the record. Uh, Town Clerk Greer. Uh, assessment, Frank Senate Crowfee Chairperson, Don Dyson. Uh, Serves on that committee, Central Falls Development Corporation, Michael Ferrara and Caitlin Laskowski. Uh, Recreation, Don Dyson, Chair, Frank Sinecropi. Highway Public Works, Frank Sinecropi, uh, Chair, Steve Churchill. Waste Management, Frank Sinecropi, Chair, Steve Churchill. Uh, personnel, Michael Ferrara, Chair, Caitlin Laskowski. Website will be Melissa Howe. Listen, you know, I think you're reading those wrong, Mike. It's the chair would. First person is the chair, correct? Correct. Oh, okay. Because you're kind of reading it like yeah. chair, Steve Churchill. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Just yeah. confused. Uh, the chair. Public safety, Caitlin will be the chair, uh, and I will serve on that committee, Michael Ferrara. Court, Don Dyson, chair, and Caitlin Laskowski. Water sewer, Mike Ferrara, chair, Don Dyson. Uh, SMI committee, Michael Ferrara, Caitlin Laskowski, and Patrick Morell. Uh, town board liaison to the visitor center, Steve Churchill, and a new category, uh, contract review committee. This will be Caitlin Laskowski and Frank Senecropi. Uh The contract review committee is on recommendation again from the auditors. And now, anytime that any department or anybody signs a contract, uh, whether it be water and sewer, highway, even if it's an agreement contract, uh, it needs to be reviewed by the committee uh, after the town attorney to the town uh, provides his blessing as well. Uh, and it needs to be reported that you reviewed this contract on this date uh, for this service. And it's your responsibility to make sure that whatever we're signing a contract with, that either the materials or the services that we're signing up for is being provided. Okay? So, that's something new from the other. Okay. Uh, town clerk Greer, I can uh, adjourn that, right? You just go ahead and keep going. I'm done Sorry. with the reorganization, all right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, do I probably have to take the... Uh, Roll call again? No. Make it official? No. no. It's already official. I don't have to make the pledge again? No, we don't have to do that again. I need to pray more, I know that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> regular meeting. I'd like to call the regular meeting of January 2023 to order. Uh, we have petitioners tonight. We have one peti petitioner, uh, Tony Marie Meeks. I just want to remind everybody uh, that please go to the podium, introduce yourself, your address. Uh, we Try to follow a three to five minute time frame. Nobody's holding a stopwatch, but please be respectful.
might need to put this up here. Or you can hold yeah, it. Yeah, you can hold it. I can hold it. I feel famous. We have to go for you. <laughs> I feel famous. Um, I'm Tony Meeks, and this is Jennifer Wick. We um, are representing the class of 2023 from Minders Academy. We are here to talk to you about the banners that have been downtown the last three years. I know it was something started during COVID. We'd like to see it continue and be an ongoing thing uh, for the town of Seneca Falls. I spoke to Mr. Ferrara in the past. I also spoke with Jeremy Went. Um, I didn't get a lot of support from either of them. I understand there's some issues with the polls. Um, but I've done some research and I've spoke to some people <laughs> regarding that part. I understand there's some issues with the polls and on that end, um, I'll start with that part. So the polls, I understand you have a current issue with that they're not so safe. And I think I can come to a little conclusion for that for you possibly. I know I'm not an engineer but I've spoken to some and I understand that if you drill and grout them and anchor bolt the washers <coughs> and put new nut instead of replacing the poles that will save you some money and that will help the situation on the pole front right there I see Jeremy shaking his head no I can't imagine that every single pole needs to replace, but I'm not going to argue that it's with you. That's every, not why I'm here. It's not every pole needs to replace. Jeremy, but better, better what, what, let's start with the fact that we want to um, purchase new brackets to to replace what was originally done. Yeah, I know they, Angela and Anderson, had made up. Yes, they. Did like those a makeshift really quickly they did a great job yes but they made those up um, we would like to purchase those from a company who has done these uh, throughout the state of New York they do them for Clyde they do the banners they do the brackets they also do them for other um, they do them for all a lot of the surrounding towns and villages mm -hmm. We, we went around and we saw they use them for several different things, not just the senior portraits. They're using them for Veterans Day. They're using them for holiday displays. They're using them for many different things. So when the seniors aren't using them in the spring, they could be used for the veterans during Veterans Day. That would be something that the town could use in its expense that would cost them or we could where some towns did raise money by when they used it for the veterans that people put forward and how do so, I want to say so for example the honor of veteran yeah yes. so for example that's Lions, um, they have a, a veterans program program where an individual could purchase one I believe <coughs> they purchased them for two hundred and fifty dollars which is a lot more than the banners actually do cost. And then those banners are put up every single year. I think it's twice a year, maybe Memorial Day and Veterans Day. I believe that's what they do. And so. So j just to uh, <clears throat> expedite some things here. First of all, this board last year and previous boards two years ago, 100% supported the posters going up, okay? <laughs> the second year they went up, uh, Joelle Murray Kirsten was in charge of the project and she used the same brackets that you're referring to. Okay? Uh, we did have a poll go down this past mm -hmm. summer okay? <coughs> and we've since gone through and the highway department uh, under Jeremy's leadership has gone through and checked all the polls uh, to make sure that there is a, that the wind's not going to blow them down or somebody touch them they're going to knock them down. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, we've also did some repairs on some of the poles, uh, mainly on the intersection of State Street and Fall Street, okay? It is under the advice of our insurance agent, okay, uh, that you strongly consider not putting things on the poles, okay? Because once we do that and something happens, a bad windstorm comes through, uh, et cetera, et cetera, then the town is going to be liable for the poll, not the insurance company. Okay? 
okay? Now, if this board so chooses to take on that liability, that's what democracy is all about, okay? So uh, the I board will, has taken on that liability, however, in the because past. there are well, Christmas again, decorations was, up, correct? In the past, in the past, it wasn't really something that was an issue, but since there was one of our polls that went down within the last six months and caused extensive damage to a private citizen's vehicle, that's when the red flag has now been raised. Right. There and was I, no red flag I completely before. understand that, but that was prior to the Christmas decorations yeah. being put yeah. up. Yeah, but I'm noticing that. I got pictures of Christmas correct? decorations up. Yeah. I just want to know who actually looked at these and... Who looked at the polls? The polls. And how much expertise they had in that. Well, uh, the, expert, the expert in the room is the highway superintendent. How many years experience, sir? Yeah, but are, are we saying, if I heard you correctly, the insurance company said you're on your own if you put something on your polls, and then we put Christmas decorations on? Uh, I was not aware of the Christmas decorations, the, 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 can't, the angels go on the polls, right? The angels and the so we're kind of talking out of both sides of our mouth. Yes, yes. apparently we are. We're saying we're not supposed to put anything on the polls. But the no, they say not supposed to. Just well, it, 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 it indicates our coverage. Get your own can I can I also explain one of the reasons why we want to do this? I mean, besides the obvious. Yeah. Um, so a lot of kids get these banners because they play sports. Sport kids. Right? So you have some kids who play multiple sports. They get a banner for each sport. Some kids don't get anything. My daughter, for example, she's a dancer. You know, that's her thing. She doesn't play a sport, so she doesn't get anything. It's Unlike, just a nice recognition. Yeah. yeah, and I think also it's nice for these kids to be recognized by the community. I think you're 100% yes. right. So that's our reason. And I think for everybody on this board would yes. agree with you 100%. Okay? And it's a lot of the, in the spirit the of coming In the back. spirit of uh, cooperation, I will be more than willing, I will reach out between now and February's meeting, okay? Uh, I will re-talk to the insurance company. Uh, I will, you know, Chairman Senecropi uh, will work with Highway Department, okay? And we'll take a look at that. You're 100% right. Christmas decorations went out there. I don't know if they're heavier or not. So or how whatever. much heavier would the decorations the, be than those pictures? Well, and we're going to use a much more sturdier, appropriate bracket for and yes. there are companies that are willing to yeah we have the some companies I know the problem with the banner was that because they're banners they they caught wind more but they're more likely use, to catch the wind than, use, than an angel but we're going to use something that is made to hold these banners exactly. we're not going to be using a well, makeshift any longer his point is you're putting a sail <laughs> essentially yes <laughs> unless you per perforate the yeah. The picture, the photo, so that when you have a high wind, the wind's allowed to pass through it. It becomes a sail, and it's going to catch that wind and put undue force. It will. It's going to put some increased force mm -hmm. on that pole. So <laughs> perhaps you look at something like that too. That perhaps you can make these the photos, the banners, mm -hmm. so that the air can pass through if it. Take if if you take into consideration the ones that were just hung down at the Women's Hall of Fame, those are what we're talking about. We're talking about. If you take a drive through Lions or Clyde, they've had Geneva. them up. Geneva has, no, I, Geneva I has them, them and they're bracket. saying they're truth not is, having any the issues. The truth is, you don't want a good strong bracket. What you want is a bracket that's going to break right. away if you have a high wind. Well, these would be brackets on the pole, and then they would have <coughs> poles that come out, and they, would and they the have a metal slip. Yeah, uh, well, slip with a metal ring. If you had, if you had a banner that that swings like a flag, mm -hmm. right, that allows yes. this thing to go with the air. But if you just put them up, and they're you know they're facing west, and they're on a rigid bracket. That does add some well, stress. These, yeah, it. these are this, it's not this particular full. company. They do this for a lot of different customers. Yeah, know, they to, do but this to, for but the area. Person, but to Mr. Ferrari's point, that's fine. But if the insurance company, we got to get around the insurance company mm -hmm. saying, right? Yeah. And again, we're not we're not saying we're not saying no. Okay. We yes, need sir. to look into it. Yes, sir. Can I propose that the groups discuss this yes. off-site at another time and make a presentation next month? Yeah, i got to get some information to bring back. So absolutely. Okay. If they put it on mesh, you know, like the picture on a fine mesh so air would blow through it, probably 
wouldn't be as much of a sale like Steve is saying. Mm -hmm. You know, you could get some really fine mesh that air will go through. What's your deadline? I'm thinking that probably the posters need to be done, I would assume, with the way things are going in the world today, mm -hmm. I would assume we need to know no later than when you say so if we have end a, of February, we have, March, so we can uh, place no, an we'll order. Have an for you February, and then February, February March 6, to place an order and then okay. to produce the product. Absolutely. We'll, can we'll I have ask an answer question? for you February 6th. So the, yes. the, I, I'm sorry, go ahead, Donna. Oh, sorry. The previous ones, they would fall down. Is this one going to be much better? And, um, yeah. Yeah. So like we're, we're going to be using brackets that are made for this purpose. Okay. I they, can't get out. <laughs> they made these. They kind of jimmy rigged these. These to make were them like a, and like fast, fast. Yeah. These are actually made for this purpose. So okay. I think mean, those are some different ideas that we were looking at. Okay. And I can bring in the rep to explain these. Don't eat. No I was just wondering because some of them were falling, we have, yeah. and, and that's why we want to okay, don't want to use them. All right, leave your contact information. Okay. Wendy. Um, uh, so that we're... pool didn't just fall down either. I was there when it happened. There was a skateboarder that was yanking on it, so I'm not sure how. I was told they were playing Ring Around the Rosie. Right. Yeah, but even if you're playing Ring Around the Rosie, a skateboard name shouldn't fall down. It shouldn't, but I, I mean, I think. If they're all going to fall down, let's fix them, guys. Pardon? If they're going to fall down, let's fix them. How's that? Wouldn't you do that? If all the poles are that bad, wouldn't you fix them? We, we went through all the poles, and we fixed many of them. We fixed what we could for okay. what we know. And we're also looking into, those poles are, and those fixtures are, they're old, too. And we're also looking at some remediation phase, phases of replacement. There's more of those I mean, ornamental, like ornamental lights than downtown? you realize. Like over no, I, we just used that only 80 yeah. students this year. And they so would be double sided, so we would only need 44. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they would just okay. take the whole double. double. Okay, enough. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. And we then, will, uh, I mean, unless you have an option of somewhere else to put them where they would be safe. That was our other thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. We'll be back. Going downtown. Like, Thank you very much. Thank you. Frank's got your paper. Uh, I got one last question. How many oh, pictures would there be? Well, there's 88. 88. 88. So 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. Okay, 88. So there'd be 44 brackets. Yes. In 14, it'll only be 60. Uh, I, I have uh, Tony Brown. In, in <coughs> 14 years, it'll only be 66 going up. In 14 years? Yeah, yeah. maybe 13. There's only 66 kids enrolled in kindergarten oh, this year. Yeah, that's true. And they don't all make it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> we try to think past it. Speaking from your personal experience. <laughs> 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 they all don't make it to the end. <laughs> true story. Okay, uh, are there any petitioners at the floor tonight? Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the regular meeting, monthly meeting minutes of December 6th? I make the motion. Thank you. Second? Second. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 I have a motion to approve the year-end meeting, uh, special board meeting of December 27th, 2022. I make the motion. Thank you. Second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, speaking of special meetings, uh, I've reached out in an email. Uh, we've come to the this January 20th. Make sure that's in your calendar at 12 o'clock. There'll be a special board meeting here. Uh, it is time sensitive. Uh, one is for a public hearing for the Restore New York grant uh, that we're uh, working in conjunction with the uh, with the Women's Hall of Fame. And the other thing on the agenda would be to <coughs> excuse me would be to uh, oh, the bids for the equalization tank will be in on January 17th, and we'd like to get that appointed ASAP so construction can start the sooner the later. So even though it seems like only three weeks, uh, it's, that makes it time here. Okay, uh, you have communications uh, in your packet. Uh, old business, uh, 
lease of portion of Kingdom Road pump station property. Uh, you can take that off the agenda. It's a non issue any longer. Sale of pump property. Yep, no, no updates on uh, either accepted offers that we have uh, for both properties, uh, whether it be, excuse me, 10 Fall Street or the Portland Avenue area, there are no updates on that. Uh, new business approval of special events. Are there any special events? I didn't see any. No, I didn't see it. No. <coughs> okay, new business. Uh, There is no, uh, how about there is no the resolution for that. Okay. Is that just, uh, yes. just, do we need to vote on it, Nikki? We need to vote. Uh, uh, can I have a motion to uh, authorize the town supervisor to invest town monies? Motion for that, please. I don't blame you, I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> motion, second? No motion. Thank you. Second? I'll second. Is there a second down there? Yes. Why are they, 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 they don't, they're trying to make me look bad, they're not speaking up. Or. Turn them up. They're as up as high as they go. Back going now. Look, Alice, they're up there. Okay, got a motion in a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, give a motion to accept the resignation of Police Sergeant Eric Davids, there's a letter in your uh, in your folder. Uh, please accept this letter as a formal notice of resignation from the division as Road Control Division Sergeant at the Town of Seneca Falls Police Department, effective January 2nd. I've accepted a new position at the Geneva City Police Department. I appreciate the opportunities for growth and development you've provided during my tenure at the Town of Seneca Falls, and thank you for your guidance and support. You have my full commitment and cooperation for a smooth transition and responsibilities. Please let me know if I can be in any further assistance. Motion for that, please. <coughs> second. No second. Uh, all in favor of accepting the resignation with regret, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, can I have a motion to uh, accept uh, the permit, license permit, uh, to the Landfill operation. I have a I application a here in check. Thank you. Second. Second. All uh, in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Opposed. And the reason I oppose that is they continue to violate the uh, uh, agreement to uh, prevent odors from entering people's properties. Uh, they refuse to uh, essentially help us set up an independent voter monitoring process, complaint process. So for that reason, I don't think they should be granted an opportunity. <coughs> so noted. Um, town Brewer, Town Court Brewer, that's a four to one, four A's, one four. Okay, uh, we have a resolution here to declare 2020-2003 International Jump Truck Dump Truck Surplus uh, where is the town board authorized purchase an F650 dump truck at the second? Make a motion we sell it. Sell it. And a second? Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, I have a resolution here. Whereas the town of Seneca Falls has a contract that defines the per annum in pay scale for police command staff, whereas the interim chief has been appointed with a salary of 94000 uh, whereas the contract currently in place until December 31st specifies a minimum salary of 97. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the position of interim police chief occupied by will receive a salary of $97,613, effective January 1st, 2023. Can I have a motion, please? I make the motion. And second? Thank you. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Lieutenant Snyder, congratulations on uh, your interim position. We wish you the best of luck, and uh, we're here mm -hmm. as you beck and need. Nice. I have a resolution here, <coughs> uh, whereas uh, salary modification for town judge, whereas Honorable Judge Charles Lapper has announced his intent to retire, 
Uh, we're the Venerable Judge Stephen Kelly. We're assuming the additional responsibilities of administration performed by Judge Lapper. Whereas the Board Committee overseeing the Town Court has recommended that Judge Kelly's salary be increased to that of Judge Lapper to compensate him for the performance of extra duties. Now, therefore, be it resolved subject to a public hearing, Judge Kelly's salary will now be $30,843 per annum, uh, effective January 1st, 2023. Can I make a motion? Motion and a second. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does that need a public hearing? Doesn't yeah. they have a local law? So raise the salary and elect Well, the justice position is not included on the list of those salaries required to be on the public notice for the preliminary budget. So no, this can be done by resolution. So we don't need a public hearing. Correct. Correct. This was. This needs to be amended to strike that. They can, yep. You can strike the public hearing. This can be done by resolution. I'll make a motion that we strike that uh, subject to public hearing of the uh, resolve clause. Got second. a motion to amend it and second. second. All in favor of the motion to strike the public hearing part of it, please say aye. 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 All in favor of the resolution as amended, we say aye. 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 Made the motion. Caitlin made the motion. Who seconds the original motion? motion. Uh, motion Frank? by Frank. Frank made a motion. Okay. Uh, and Frank's or Caitlin, you seconded? Yeah. She made the motion. She made the motion. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Get that back. Uh, I have a uh, resolution here, the hiring of a highway department MEO light, whereas the Town of Seneca Falls Highway Department has a vacancy as a result of a retirement. Uh, now, therefore, we resolve the Town of Seneca Falls will hire Polmar as an MEO light with an end or an hourly salary of $21 per hour, and he can start immediately. Bless you. Have a motion for that, please. Make a motion. And second. Second. Any discussion? Where's that fall in the matrix, the current matrix that we have? I'm sorry? Where does that fall in the current matrix that we have? I don't know about that in front of me, but it's pretty low, pretty yeah, low. It's, it's, I think it's the starting rate, I think. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's either a, it might be a four. There's like 12 yeah, or 13 listings. It might be a three or a four, right? I think it's no Is the other person three. left? The other person retiring? Is he gone? Yeah. It's on the sixth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My only question. Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <coughs> Have a resolution here. Police do hire lateral transfer salary scale. Uh, this was uh, kind of something we had discussion back in December, and this has been changed up. Uh, whereas the Senate Falls Town Board passed a resolution to encourage police officers to make lateral transfers uh, to Senate Falls Police Department. Whereas there has to be a clear path to where the new officer would be placed in the salary step. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the language below be adopted in the MOU passed on December 6th. Make a motion we adopt the language. Okay, can I have a second, please? A second. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, Frank can answer them for you. Okay, with no questions, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No carry. Uh, Peter, we need to get this to um, Chris Denny, okay? So he can share it with uh, <coughs> the police, the union, yep. and then something official would be written out. Okay, I have a resolution here to correct the modification of the employee handbook to update vacation policy, section 802, uh, whereas the town board of Seneca Falls has passed a resolution to update the town of Seneca Falls employee handbook and modify the employee vacation leave policy. I make a motion that we uh, adopt a new policy. Okay, we have a second, the please. Second, the second time. Yes. <laughs> second. Second. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, Peter can answer them. And Frank. Okay, with no questions, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Mm -hmm. Carried. 
have a resolution here to contract with Integrated Systems for Information Technology Services, where the town of Santa Falls solicited a request for proposal for information technology services, whereas one prospective vendor submitted a proposal, whereas the town supervisor and town manager reviewed the proposal and interviewed the prospective vendor, whereas Integrated Systems has a wide range of experience working with municipalities, is located in Victor, New York. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of Seneca Falls approves to have the Town Supervisor enter an agreement with Integrated Systems to purchase initially 200 hours of time at the price of $85 per hour to provide information technology services to the Town. In addition, if more hours of time are required, the Town Supervisor would be authorized to purchase additional 50 hour blocks of time. I have a motion for that, please. I'll make a motion. Thank you. Second? Yes, I make. Discussion? Question? We only got one vendor, huh? The, again, did we just uh, just advertise in the Finger Lakes Times on our website? That was it? Uh, Finger Lakes Times website and uh, New York contract, uh, I forgot what they were called. Thank you, contract report. Okay. Again, uh, before my tenure and all of your tenures, well, Steve, you were on the board. No, you were on the board. For all of our tenures, uh, the board decided to uh, terminate the position of uh, a full-time IT person in the building. Uh, we were working with the county uh, for IT services. Uh, the county would continue with that arrangement, but the county IT department is understaffed and overworked. Uh, they're having a very difficult time keeping up what they can keep up with at the county level. Um, and uh, I strongly believe this will be far less expensive than what we are currently paying and previously to the county. We're paying, I think, $42,000 a year for their services. So I'm hoping that this will be under that number. Uh, and I'm pretty confident it will be unless something tragic happens. And do you know how they track time? I mean, it's one minute, one hour? It's one minute, one hour. Yeah. Like a lawyer, like an attorney? Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 I mean, you got to be a little careful. How no, I, no, you're good. Because they can uh, nickel dime you to death, yeah. these IT folks. <laughs> not speaking from experience. Not speaking. Not speaking. No, I, I give money away. Uh, travel time, if they had, you know, travel time is, uh, there would be a designated person, uh, which would be the town manager, who would be, uh, so if Kim is having a problem, an IT problem, she would contact Peter. Uh, Peter would make the phone call, not an email, to make a direct phone call, explain the situation. We have the option of having it fixed remotely, or they come out. If they come out, we're, we're paying for travel time, obviously, uh, but it is what it is. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. I just recognized a stranger that walked into the room. Yeah. Um, I didn't see him speak in. I'm sorry, you're cool. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to take a break uh, and uh, like to uh, recognize uh, Police Chief Pinstra uh, on his retirement. We were going to do this in December, but Police Chief Pinstra's schedule uh, didn't allow that. And, uh, so, Chief, on behalf of the town board, uh, and I've said this numerous times uh, in, in the newspapers and so forth, but on, on behalf of the town board, uh, we can't thank you enough for your 25 years of service, your dedication, uh, what you meant to this community, uh, not only as an example of what police, uh, policing is all about, but by establishing a high standard for our police department that will continue uh, in your absence, I hope, and, uh, you know, we became certified under your leadership, accredited under your leadership, and um, you are one of the most respected people in our community. And uh, that's not just me talking. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working directly with you for the past three years. Uh, it's been a very meaningful relationship to me personally, um, but I've known you a long time, and uh, I know what you've meant to this community. And again, uh, I can't thank you enough uh, for your years of service. Um, we have, uh, I have a plaque for you, uh, but 
You're not getting it? <laughs> uh, there's a supply chain issue, all right? Uh, I'm going to assure that I'll have the plaque in my hand. It's a pretty neat, specialized plaque, okay? I'll have the uh, plaque in my hand that I'll be presenting it to you Saturday night, okay, at your retirement party. Uh, I do have a cake with you, but there's a little supply problem with that also. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that detail, okay? Just let's, in the future, my words of advice, if you order a cake, look at it before you take it out. Okay, just in case. Sometimes it might be something might be wrong. Okay? Maybe nobody will even notice it. Who knows? You know? Happy birthday, Linda, or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and it's a boy. And uh, finally, uh, I'd like to announce to you and to the community that the, the town board, uh, at their special board meeting on December 27th, has uh, approved that to provide you with your service weapon uh, in your retirement. And that will be forever yours. And there's a whole lot of other paperwork that goes along with it that I know you know what's going on with it, but uh, once all that's taken care of, the service weapon will be yours, and that's a small token of our appreciation. Picture of the cake, real quick. Melissa, well, you want to take a picture of the cake, real quick? You didn't. You're not supposed to point it out. <laughs> Jumped right out. a piece of cake, please come up and grab something. Having cake, I'm cutting all this cake. Nobody's gonna have any cake. All right, Kyle, twist my arm. What kind of magnet? One for the. Oh, we have got one that. Well, I could probably give you a couple guys. It goes on the front of the skidster. It's zero calories. Or I can send down the track machine. No, I'm not. We don't have one. Thank you. 
the board first. Here's me just being your phone. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You may Supporting resolution. Uh, whereas the town of Seneca Falls, hereafter known as the town board, supports the submission of a 2022 New York State Department of Transportation Bridge New York grant to rehabilitate the Bridge Street Bridge. Uh, the New York State 
DOT bridge grant program provides assistance for local governments to rehabilitate and replace bridges with particular emphasis on projects that address poor structural conditions, mitigate weight restrictions or detours, facilitate, facilitate economic development, and improve resiliency and reduce flooding risk. Now, therefore, I preside the town board on behalf of the town identifies the town supervisor as the authorized representative for the project. Be further resolved, the town board does hereby authorize and obligates local matching funds of a minimum of 5% of the total of any grant funding awarded in the form of in-kind services or cash contribution hereby appropriated from the town of Seneca Falls Reserve Fund. Be further resolved that the town of Seneca Falls recognizes and fully supports the submission of a 2022 New York State DOT Bridge New York grant application. I make a motion we apply for the grant. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. Uh, so I was just telling the town board member, Senator Kropi, uh, the DOT, when they do their inspection of the Bridge Street Bridge, uh, cites us for uh, multiple things. They haven't yellow flagged it yet. They haven't red flagged it yet. Uh, so there's there's things that need to be addressed. Uh, obviously, but he knows it's an old bridge. Uh, in this grant also, we're looking to restore the bridge as far as painting it. Uh, so hopefully, if we get this grant, we could also you know, have the bridge sanded down and repainted, et cetera, et cetera. So, again, no work would be done unless the grant is approved. Okay. Now, I've asked, if, are we obligated if we get the grant to do the project? Uh, no, sir, you don't have to accept the grant. Okay, I mean, could, because do we have any idea what the costs of what you just explained? I think we're uh, applying for a $2 million grant, yeah, I yes. believe so. For each of these projects, it'd be two million dollars. So, do I have a? We have a, a preliminary discussion uh, with uh, with BNL, and that was in the ballpark of the restoration. Uh, and any idea what? So, we're applying for two million. Any idea what we might get? I mean, would we get the entire two million? You would, and then you would mat match the funds with in kind services. The five percent. Yes, five percent. They could be in kind. Yes. So it would have to be cash. Sure. So it could be. Right. We can't ban it. We'd have to come out of reserve. <laughs> well, it could be not could be managed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It could be what? Man power. I'm sorry. People power. Okay. <laughs> Other questions? Okay. Again, we're just voting to approve applying for the grant. And when does the grant have to be in? Mm, end of this month. Oh, good. Thank I'll you. Have a special meeting. <laughs> all right. With that, uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. How about L? Nikki, who made the motion? Frank and Frank. 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 Yeah. Oh, you got it. Okay, because that's got to be certified. Yeah. This has got to be certified. Nikki's got to. And Matt's got to take. Well, Nikki, uh, Ron is coming in tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. For all this stuff. Right. Mike, I don't think we did L. We didn't do L yet. No. That's we what we did. Yeah, this one wasn't on the agenda. No, it wasn't on the agenda. All right. Going along with that, uh, then there's a uh, like everything in the world, there's a, a seeker part of the grant as well. Uh, so, uh, seeker resolution uh, type two, where the town of Seneca Falls Town Board hereafter referred to the town board is considering. Rehabilitation of the Bridge Street Bridge. Uh, now, therefore, it resolved that the town board does hereby satisfy, or excuse me, classify the above reference action to be a type two action under section 617.5C of the State Environmental Quality Review Regulations, which states replacement, rehabilitation, and construction of a structure in kind on the same site, including upgrading buildings to meet buildings, blah, blah, blah. Be it further resolved that type two actions are not subject to further review under part 617 of the secret regulations. Be a final resolve that the town board in making this classification is satisfied the procedural requirements under seeker and direct this resolution to be placed in the file on this action. And a motion for that, please. I'll make a motion. Thank you. And a second. Okay, this is uh, housekeeping stuff. Uh, BNL and MRV uh, engineers both determined that this is Type two type of things, but mainly BNL. 
All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Okay, uh, resolution the Town of Seneca Falls, Barrett Street, Culvert Replacement Municipal Supporting Resolution, where the Town of Seneca Falls Board supports the submission of a 2022 New York State Department of Transportation Bridge New York grant uh, to replace the Barrett Street Culvert, whereas the New York State DOT Bridge New York Culvert Program provides assistance for local governments to rehabilitate and replace bridges and culverts with particular emphasis on projects that address poor structural conditions, mitigate weight restrictions or detours, facilitate economic development, and improve resiliency and reduce flood risk. Uh, whereas there's no match required for the Bridge New York Culvert Program, and if funding is received, it will allow the Town of Seneca Falls to design and reconstruct the culvert and roadway using 100% New York State DOT bridge work or funding. Uh, now, therefore, it resolves the town board on behalf of the town, identifies the town supervisor as the authorized representative for the project, able to execute necessary documents relative and if required for this application. I make a motion that we apply for the grant. Second. second for that. Discussion. Um, so this came up, I don't know, not this particular one, but a couple years ago, and I asked the question, if we receive the grant, are we committed to do the project? And the answer was yes. So you're not you're not required to do anything until you execute a contract with the city. And uh, so the, the first step is application for funds. If funds are awarded, the state puts forward a contract for the grant funds. Um, if you elect not to sign that contract, you won't have to engage in any kind of work. See, that's not what we were told. Do you recall that? They said, yeah, okay. if you apply for the grant and you're, you're, given, you're awarded the grant, then you have to do the project. I strongly discourage you from applying for grant funds that you aren't intending to use. Okay, but you're not 100% Not prohibited, that's okay. correct. So, this... This pays for the entire project if we get this grant? Yes. The entire project. What if it's $3 million? It pays for the entire project up to the amount of the ask. So we're working with Martin and Judas to develop the project budget. When the project budget, the project budget will be based on engineering estimates. And, I mean, three years ago it was... 1.5. Well, that was the low end. The, the high end was over 2. It was like 2.2. Because two. Right. Um, the one was a surface. Right. Right. The one was actually to put in a, a new culvert plus repair the so existing. 1.5 was the one with the above the ground. Right. Yeah. So it was 2.2, let's say, in 2020. Yeah. I got to imagine in 2023 $20, dollars, it's closer to three. Unless bridge work's the only thing that's going down in price. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be asking for all of it, correct? Yeah. I mean, you're going to, and, and this has got to be in by the end of the month? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to update the project costs we've been working with barnacle juice already on okay and so do you know where we are approximately i don't i am not sure matt screw is the one that uh is the, is the bridge guy from mm -hmm. bnl matt screw right. takes care of roads and bridges and color so we're asking for the just so i'm clear because i oppose spending taxpayer dollars on this i've, I've spoken to it in the past i continue to firmly 110 percent believe that it's the state's uh a mess to fix. It's the, it's the state's water that's passing through there. They own both creeks, the pond, the canal. Uh, they submerge that that uh, walk through uh, drainer, drainage culvert that was built in the late 1800s. They submerged it in 1918, 1919 when they built the, the canal. Um, it was never designed to be submerged. I think that you know if it's lasted 100 years and if it's having some problems, that's on them, not us. <coughs> Uh, and and there's, I mean, it's, there's no evidence other than they supposedly put a diver in there and they saw some, um, and I agree there might be, we, we put a, an ROV submersible in it, and I think you could see some limestone, but I don't know that they actually fell out of the culvert or if they were just left there or, or whatever, but uh, there's no evidence on the surface of any damage. Um, three years ago, the, the state put a 76,000 pound, you know, 36 ton, crane right over the 
right over the culvert and cleaned out the uh, uh, the pond, which they do very, very seldomly. Uh, and uh, so I'm really, it, it's really on them. But if we can get it paid for with a grant in its entirety, I certainly would support that. Um, so that's why I'm asking those questions, and I want to make sure on the record that it's clear that we're. We aren't obligated, number one. So in other words, if they come to us and say, yep, we're going to give you $100,000, that boom, that's, that lit the rocket. Now we've got to come up with the other uh, $2.9 million. No, sir. Uh, as long as you're saying that that's not the case, and there's, we can get the entire amount based on the, the contracting uh, cost, uh, I'll support it. Okay. How often does that happen You get the whole amount? Very rare. Um, Culvert, uh, as you, you just uh, you just noticed, with Bridge New York, Bridge New York and Culvert New York are funded from the same agency, from the same pot of money. But uh, on the Bridge projects, they require a five percent match. On the Culvert projects, they don't require any match. Most state grants that we've worked with do require you know some modicum of match. Five percent is actually pretty low uh, for a, a state grant, typically. Uh, so this is rare. Um, so it's valuable. Sure. And is this, is this money coming out of the federal infrastructure money I'm that was sure. passed a couple years ago I'm not sure. by our illustrious president? <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't answer Mr. That. Biden. <laughs> I think uh, just, just a couple things. Uh, is, the, is, the, is Barrett Street paving in? No, absolutely agree. Uh, and that's checked on a regular basis by uh, Martin and Judas. Uh, the primary issue with the bridge he covered is it does not allow for adequate flow of water when you have rain events. It's so congested with debris and stuff uh, that it just backs up. And Lieutenant Snyder can tell you firsthand what happens when the Barrett Street culvert can't handle the amount of water uh, that comes with events. And water is up to his kitchen door, halfway up to his kitchen door. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, is that, um, I forgot what the second thing <laughs> is. Mike and I spoke about this, and uh, we're, we're figuring if it's done right, which we believe it will, it'll last at least 80 years, right? Less than guarantees. Uh, I, I don't know. That's a good idea. Right? It'll last. It'll, I, know, I know I'll be on the wrong side of the grass. I know. <laughs> well, you know to that point about drainage, I mean, is, will this design include something that does keep all the debris at bay? Because the state has done an absolute, I mean, non existent job at doing it. Like a screen or something to go in front of it so it's not. Everything's gone through. I mean, there's a, there's a log laying in it right now. I mean, yeah, it'll you know. help with the deterioration because it will be new, but I can double check on what other. Mechanisms are I mean, there needs to be some that. sort of steel gate. There needs to be something yeah. put put there because that's the problem. Yeah, Otherwise, the, the one that was built in 1890 will be lasting another 100 years. Right. The one on Toledo Street, which is its sister called, is still high and dry, but they did see her. And it's in perfect shape. You walk right through it. So you can see what it looks like. John, did you have a Caitlin, he had a question. I thought that the prior discussion was that the, the divers couldn't get through there because of all the debris and whatnot, so they couldn't do a thorough assessment. Um, and they deemed it was unsafe. Right. That's why they wouldn't send a person right. back in. So. Right. Okay. I just... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Again, uh, we're, uh, we're applying for a grant, but I think Matt provided you some pretty good uh, advice. Um, you shouldn't apply for grants if you don't use them because my guess that advice is based on they don't look at you favorably the next time you're knocking on the door. Okay? I do remember what I wanted. So back when we, uh, I wanted to apply for a Bridge New York grant uh, three years ago or two, two years ago, uh, and I, <coughs> Senator Howman at the time uh, and uh, Brian Stratton, who's uh, one of the directors at, on the Canal Corp. Uh, again, we were going back and forth, as Steve said, who owns it, who doesn't own it, et cetera. We did extensive research. Uh, BNL did extensive research. Uh, they had attorneys do extensive research. The state did extensive research. Nobody could find any exact documentation that said who owns it, who doesn't own it, okay? I agree 100% with what Steve said. It does not make any sense. They own. <coughs> Uh, they own Center Street, uh, they own the canal, uh, 
Okay, you don't know in between. But anyway, with that said, uh, both Senator Hamming and Brian Stratton said uh, they would put their thumb on this application. Now, I don't know what that means in your world, but in my world, uh, I think in Albany there's a lot of things that sometimes influences are made. Uh, and uh, if this passes tonight, I will reach out to both of those people as well and hopefully they continue to put their thumb on the grant writing for that. Because they understand the situation that it's, a, it's an unsettled question and uh, I think we'll have some favorable support at Albany as well. So before the grant goes out, could you at least communicate to the board what we're asking for? Sure. Yeah. When you get that number? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I found it interesting. Just one more thing, I promise you. But I found this, this is 2019. This was in the Finger Lakes Times, West Bayard Street Block, Seneca Falls. Uh, West Bayard Street Block in Seneca Falls closed by DOT. And it's just interesting that it says, you know, two-block section was closed on uh, West Bayard Street. The closure was announced Thursday by town officials who said the closing was ordered, and that was prior to anybody on this board. That was the Lazaro days. Uh, the closure was announced. Uh, Thursday, the town officials said the closing was ordered by the State Department of Transportation and the State Cur uh, Canal Corps. The closing will be until further notice. Stephen Gossett of the New York Power Authority said the closing will be will enable contractors for the State Canal Corporation to make repairs to the culvert under Baird Street that feeds the water from Sampson Creek on the north side of the street to the Cuga Seneca Canal. So I mean, right there, I mean, you've got three state entities. Um, not one of them came through, but the one gentleman said that, uh, yo, indeed, the Canal Corp will take care of it. But I find true story. That. Absolutely true story. And then when they realized, they said, oops. Three million dollars. <laughs> well, that, and they started looking, they said they couldn't find any evidence. I, I, I agree, it's a sham, but here we are. <coughs> Okay, uh, we voted on that? We did not. So, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Uh, to go along with that, uh, I have a resolution uh, where the town of Seneca Falls is considering improvements or replacement of the Barry Street culvert. Uh, now, therefore, it resolved that the town board does hereby classify the above re reference action as a type <coughs> 2 action. Uh, Regulations which state replacement, rehabilitation, or reconstruction of a structure or facility in kind on the same site, including upgrading buildings to meet building energy or fire codes, unless such action meets or exceeds any of the thresholds in section 617.4. Uh, go along with the type two action for this project. Got a motion to declare the project a type two, so would mean no further action is required. Have a second for that? A second. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. The last time, Peter, I won't bring, I'll always bring a black. Belt. All right. <coughs> Thank you. So there you go. Here, I'll switch back with you. <coughs> Dan, use the budget of funds here to do the Okay, I have a resolution uh, to set a public hearing uh, to restore New York, round, New York Round 7 grant application uh, where the Town of Seneca Falls is eligible to apply for funding for economic development and revitalization so purposes. Moved. This Thank is you. just to set the, the establish the public hearing. Right? Correct. Uh, the public hearing will be set for January 20th at 12 p.m. 2023 at the Town Hall building. Uh, moved by Town Board Senator Crofey, a second please. Thank you. Thank you again. No, Churchill. Oh, Churchill. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. So again, this is a collaboration with the Women's Hall of Fame. Uh, the Restore New York is. Uh, it has to be a partnership between the entity uh, and the municipality. Uh, after the grant, we are not. There's no funds, town taxpayers' money involved in 
the project at all. It's just all, that's all on uh, the grant money and the National Women's Hall of Fame. But obviously, restoring the third and fourth floors, uh, obviously the Women's Hall of Fame is an integral part of our community. Uh, so hopefully this is something, this is very time sensitive. Uh, that's why the grant has to be in by January 27th. It's a very lengthy grant, and that's why we had to have the public hearing on the 20th. So we're just a pass-through for the month. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Ron is going to need that tomorrow. Uh, I have a letter here from the Heritage Visitor Center. Uh, Dear Nicoletta, I'm writing on behalf of the Seneca Museum of Waterways and Entry to request I make a motion that we uh, give them their first payment okay. as requested. Okay. Uh, and the first payment, uh, whatever that will be, it's budgeted 124215 That's for the entire budget. Yes. Uh, so first payment. All in favor of providing the first payment, please say aye. 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 I second that. Oh, I'm sorry. Second. Second by Steve Churchill. All in favor of that. Also to say the lady that signed the letter, Nora, has resigned. Yes. Uh, yes. Is she done done? She's done. She's uh, done Friday done. Friday was her last day. Right. Okay. We are bringing in an interim executive director tomorrow. Interim? Interim. Okay. Three to six months. Got it. Okay. Is that uh, interim going to be involved in the DRI stuff, or we're going to bypass the interim? I think we're going to bypass the interim. I think that was going to be my suggestion, too. Yeah. Okay. Because we're kind of like in the design phase. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yes. And she'll have enough things to do. Yeah. I just didn't want to do a complete 380. Not at all. Okay. Or 360. Or 180. All right. Uh, resolution uh, introducing a proposed law and providing for public hearing highway superintendent. Whereas the town board of the town of Seneca Falls believes that it would be advantageous to the town for the position of highway superintendent to be appointed rather than elected. When, when was that decided? Well, see, the, I just made the resolution. Yeah. We're going to open it up for discussion, and if you, we vote it down, we vote it down. Well, but but, I mean, this is making a statement that's not true. Well, I don't know how else to do this. I, I, have, to put it, I have to put it out there. There has to be a, a, some resolution to either approve it or not approve it. So I have to, we don't, again, if the majority of the board says no, throw it in the garbage, right? But, but what that resolution does is set the public hearing for next month. If it's passed. Yeah. If you adopt the resolution, you have a public hearing next month to formally decide one way or the other. So... I it's think not a done deal today. Yeah. No, I understand yeah. that, but I mean, the first statement is just, well, it's it says, we should say, whereas, you know, Mike Ferrara believes that it would be advantageous. I mean, that's the true statement, right? I don't. No, that's not true. Well, I'm Again, on the town board, and I was not part and parcel to making that decision. Okay. But we didn't even have the discussion. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm not. It's a council. It's not a council of one, it's a council of five. Okay, I, I'm not making it a council of one. I'm putting up a resolution. In the discussion part of the resolution, if the board does not want to move forward, then it moves, doesn't move forward. But the purpose of this is just to have the public. Pardon me? The public referendum. Yeah. Town, you gotta, yes, okay. I understand. No, I'm, I'm, Pat can explain it a lot better than I can. We'll, okay? we'll do the discussion. We'll, make well it's, it's, just, we'll do the it's discussion. just written wrong. I mean, it shouldn't say that. That's all I'm saying. It should not say that. Well, because this if, becomes if part if of the public record. If, if it's not true, then you don't have it's three true. votes for it. No, I understand the voting part of it, but this becomes part of the record. Right, but one if you have three votes, then that becomes true. Then. <coughs> for, you know, I don't know. Eleven more months. Okay, so. We have a, did we have a motion? I'll make a motion that we Do we have a second? Vote on it. Do we have a second? For discussion? Discussion. Yeah. That's all you're, I'll all you're voting for? I'll second. Discussion. Yeah. Okay. For discussion. Discussion. Well, here's my discussion. I haven't heard from nobody in the public who we represent that uh, has come forward and is advocating for this. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm a firm believer if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it. I don't think it's broke, so I don't think we should be fixing it. 
you know, I don't know where this comes from, but uh, I, I certainly don't support I, I think you should be elected. You but are you, hearing, are, you hearing, are you hearing that from people, or I mean, if people come to you and said, "Hey, you know what? We got to do. We got to change the highway supervisor's job to a appointed position." No, I haven't heard that. Right. So why are we discussing? Right. Right. We're, we're here to, you know, not dream stuff up, make stuff up. The, the, the village and the town has been running for close to 200 or over 200 years, um, and nobody's. The public's not shouting for this. So why are we? Why are we doing it? Well, I'm not sure if the public understands the complexity of things, okay? I did share with you... No, I wouldn't shortchange them. I did share... I'm not shortchanging the public. I don't know if they understand the ins and outs. I did share with the board members previously uh, via email uh, some communities that have gone this way, uh, some rationales and so forth. Uh, as I've said before, we've been fortunate that our elected town highway supervisor was a qualified person, but in essence, I'll say this and I'll continue to say this, I could be elected the highway superintendent if I have enough votes. I don't know how to change an oil out of a car, okay? So now that person is running our highway department. Uh, by state law, the highway superintendent has to uh, set a schedule, he has to sign off on payroll, and then he can stay home and watch TV or she can watch TV the rest of the day. Okay? Not required to be on the job working like our people do right now, 40, 50, 60. Not required to get in a snow plow and plow. Okay? Uh, also, in addition, the highway superintendent does not answer to the board, town board. Answers, uh, he's an elected or she's an elected official. Uh, the only control the, top, the, high, the town board has is over the finances or the monies uh, that run the highway super or the highway department. So that's my justification, that's my thought. It's not me only. If the majority of this board does not want to move in that correct direction, absolutely. And just for the record, it's been brought up two other times and voted down the other two times. So you're probably right, Steve, as far as the pulse of the community, uh, as far as elected or non-elected. Uh, but if this does pass it, I would do some uh, some education component on our website is to inform people why uh, you know the in, the pros and cons of elected versus not elected. Well, I like to think that the two parties that typically are represented in our elections here um, do the best job they can to find qualified candidates for these elected positions. Um, and they've done a very good job over the years, obviously, because we've had, we haven't had any issues. Um, but I do find it interesting, right? I mean, so that does explain why Nikki Greer is home every day watching Oprah, because she's an elected <laughs> official, and doesn't put in, you don't put in anywhere near 40 hours a week, do you? You're nowhere near 40 hours a week, all right. Let's be honest, it's at least 72 or, but uh, no, elected positions, um, I think that people like to be able to, to make those decisions. Uh, there, there, there are fewer and fewer of them uh, because they're, you know, we're willing those away. But uh, I think people, I don't sort of change them. I think people got a lot of common sense. I think the parties work hard to, to, to really find good candidates. And, and uh, perhaps in the future, it might be the right thing to do. But for now, I can't support it. And I, I didn't, the analogy I made was, uh, it's not a fair analogy to compare the town clerk's responsibility versus the highway superintendent. The responsibilities by law are completely different for a town clerk than they are for a highway superintendent. But anyway, okay. And yes, town clerk Greer puts in way too now. Other discussion? Okay. All in favor of the resolution, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Me. Opposed. 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 Caitlin? Oh, okay. So this resolution is defeated. Uh, well, Tom, you have it? You don't need to take a roll call, no, do you? No. Okay. Two, so two A's, Senate Propia and Ferrara, and three no's. Right. Got it? Okay. So now, Steve, I can just throw this in the garbage. Okay? Very good.
Okay, I have a resolution here to approve uh, Barton LeJudas for per professional engineering services for the development of collection, operations, and maintenance plan. Uh, whereas the Environmental Protection Agency recently completed an inspection of the town's sewer system is requiring the town of Seneca Falls to complete a collection system operation and maintenance plan. Whereas BNL will review EPA requirements and examples acceptable. Whereas BNL will work with the town to gather any <coughs> remaining collection system information necessary to complete an asset update and analysis of the town's current system. Whereas based on the above task, BNL will prepare a draft collection O&M plan specific to the town's wastewater assets and understanding their best management practices. I make a motion that we uh this resolution. Let me just give the Please. resolve that the town board of Seneca approves, approves the scope and services and a time and expense fee of $20,000 to develop the collection operations and maintenance plan. I have a motion by uh, Mr. Senecropi. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you. Uh, I explained this in an email, but for the public, uh, the EPA came through about uh, five weeks ago. Um, Probably the first time you've been in Seneca Falls, and this is the first time under your tenure, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. So it's been at least five years. But anyway, uh, they cited us uh, for our problem that we have when we have rain events, that uh, our sewer system can't keep up with the amount of water that the sewer plant has to treat. Uh, that's because our system is antiquated. Uh, that's because Many people and many businesses, uh, their water, their storm sewer is connected to their sewer line. So when you have events, there goes the problem. And then when you have events, you're having raw sewage being dumped into uh, the canal system or Van Cleef Lake. Okay? Uh, some of this will be helped somewhat with the equalization tank uh, that leaks now, but it's being replaced. It will hold the water, but that still doesn't solve the problem. And uh, we are we're going to receive a consent order from the EPA uh, with this written out. Um, there's no fines associated with the EPA consent order, but if the DCE starts issuing a consent order, then there are fines associated with the DEC's consent order. So this is a requirement that's going to have to be done by August uh, to come up with a uh, basically a, a, a management plan and then we're going to have to dig our heels in and start doing a lot more work than just this. There's going to be some very unpopular local laws coming up in 2023 uh, that's going to allow the water and sewer department to do home inspections and uh, so forth. Right now, the only time we inspect a residence or a property is when it's being sold. Okay? Uh, there are communities that have passed local laws uh, to address these issues. Uh, to require people to fix their problem. Uh, disconnect your sub pump from the sewer line, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be a busy year in, in this respect. Okay? So this resolution uh, has been out to begin that work uh, on the plan. Questions? And that's had it completed by July 31st? Uh, it's actually, that this part is May. Oh, this part. The a part that Mike just uh, elaborated on is separate from the maintenance management program. Okay. Uh, the money will be, uh, the money will be, uh, as I said, transferred over from the continuance. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. Uh, who second that? Do you have Steve, second that? <coughs> Steve, did you second that resolution? No. Yes. No. Frank and Peyton. Thank you. Okay. I have a resolution here to create a line item in the water budget and to transfer money to the contingency budget, line item to the new line item from the contingency budget. Whereas the town board completed a comprehensive study of the water treatment plant, it's estimated the cost of these upgrades will cost over $24 million. Uh, whereas the Bernard Donegan Group has prepared potential bonding options related to the comprehensive study, whereas a new budget line item will be used to pay for the related costs to Bernard Donegan. Uh, 
whereas a transfer of $2,500 would be required from the water, water contingency budget line item to the new line item. Therefore, be it resolved, the Town Board, Seneca Falls approves the creation of a budget line item, FA 330.210, and approves the transfer of $2,500 to the water contingency. Motion by Caitlin, second? Second. Thank you. Uh, this is just, again, state controller's requirements and make sure that we do everything with a motion and a resolution and do the proper transfer from one to the other. Any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 We have a motion here, a resolution, whereas the Honorable Judge Charles Laffer has announced his intent to retire, uh, whereas Honorable Judge James Dave Duffy has been appointed by the State of New York as an interim justice, now therefore be resolved, subject to a public, not subject, not subject to a, I can just cross that out if I didn't read it yet, right Pat? Sounds good. Judge, uh, not subject to a public hearing, Judge James Duffy's salary will now be 27500 uh, per year, effective January 1st, 2023. Have a motion for that, or motion, please? I'll make a motion. Thank you. Second? Second. Thank you. Uh, the court has appointed Judge Duffy. Uh, she started today. Uh, she is here through April. Uh, so this is obviously, per, uh, it'll be prorated based on the amount of time she's here. Uh, this town board has to appoint uh, a judge for the remainder of 2023 and then um, which will start in April or as soon as that appointed person finishes his schooling in Albany or her schooling in Albany and then there will be an election in November uh, and the people will decide who the next town of justice will be. All in favor please say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Now, I did not make a resolution to appoint a judge tonight. If you want to make a motion and appoint the judge tonight, I have no problem with it. I didn't do that. I was going to wait to February, but if you guys want to appoint a judge tonight, we can do that. Yes, no? I make a, I'll make a motion that we uh, appoint T.J. Castro Seaman as judge. Okay. <laughs> do you have a second for that? I'll I'll second. 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 Okay. Uh, so we... Joe, uh, uh, yeah. okay. So... We had another applicant, uh, but uh, TJ was uh, obviously the choice uh, from the committee uh, or from the board. And so again, this will mean that uh, if this passes, that TJ will be the one we send to school, and, and he will take over when he's complete, continue to how he passes. I, I don't know if it's a test or not, but anyway. Uh, there's no test, right? It's just a matter of test. Uh, no test. But anyway, once he goes to the training, then he'll finish out the term of uh, uh, the one year left. You know, not, not the term. He'll finish out for the year, and then there'll be an election. Okay. okay. So all in favor of the appointment of T.J. Casmesina uh, to town judge, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? So carried. Five zero. I have a resolution here introducing proposed local law and providing for public hearing alternate members of the Planning Board, Zoning Board of Appeals, and Heritage Preservation Commission. Uh, whereas the Town Board of the Seneca Falls believes that it would be advantageous to the town to amend the town code as it relates to the appointment of alternate members of the Planning Board, uh, Zoning Board, and Heritage. Preservation. I, I make a motion we adopt the local law. It's too long to read. Yeah. It is. And, uh, uh, can I have a second for that? And I'll explain. Pat and I, and uh, everybody else will explain this. So currently, the. Wait a minute, Pat. Did I get a second? <coughs> Kate, yes, okay, sir. thank you. Currently, the Sterling Code does provide for alternate members to be appointed. Um, however, they're only asked to sit for the boards and take action on a particular application if the board does not have a quorum present. So they're, they're there, but they only, you know, only spring into action if we only have two members, and then that gets us to three, and then they can take action, but it needs to be unanimous. So uh, the planning committee is recommending that we expand the uh, circumstances under which they can be 
appointed to the to act for a particular on a particular application, and um, so that would avoid having to act by unanimous vote. It hopefully will keep more people interested in acting on those boards, and uh, and also provide some opportunities to gain experience in acting on those boards for when the board is when this board is looking for uh, to make appointments to the. Uh, you know, to the boards themselves. So this is set up as three sections in our code that would need to be amended. The language is the, would be the same for each board. It's just made specific for each board. And um, and since uh, since there was going to be an amendment made, uh, the planning board, uh, the planning committee also recommended that these ultimate members also be required to do the same trainings that are required of the uh, the regular board members as well. So that's also part of this. So again, this resolution will be setting up a public hearing for next month, and we can take action one way or the other next month. And the town pays for the education for Yes. Yeah. yeah. And there's a few trainings a year. There's some online stuff. Yep. Uh, MRB is going to be doing some stuff for us this year. Uh, trying to get everybody in the room at the same time to Okay. And if something unfortunate happens to a member of one of those boards and they're out for five, six months, at least we'd have a trained person to fill in exactly. for five or six months. <coughs> Absolutely. And it also helps to you know expedite uh, the meetings. If, if there's not a quorum, that slows up things. So now people who are trying to get approved for some zoning modification or planning, um, their, their time schedule gets completely messed up, so uh, this will fix that problem. And again, the Planning Zoning Board or Committee, uh, Dan is on it and Frank is on it uh, and uh, Tom is on it, who have experience, first-hand experience in planning and zoning meetings and the issues that come up because of this. Yes, sir. Um, if I may ask or point out, there is no formal training for HPC people at all. Is that great? There is? There is. Yep. And you said better ask our chairman. Yep. There is. Thank you. And there's math involved. Calculus. <laughs> I can handle yeah. that. Uh, there is. Okay. All right. Any other questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <coughs> Excuse me. So the town, uh, the public hearing, Nikki, will be on February 7th uh, for this thing. Okay, uh, I have a motion to uh, <coughs> provide water credits uh, to uh, comprise the following credit amounts uh, that are listed there. <coughs> motion for that, please. Is there a normally detail with these? Pretty big number. Yeah. yeah. What happened to those? Uh, they're in the stack, but probably didn't get copied. What do you need to know? Do you have questions? I mean, did they errors? Or the, I mean, that's well, was there five? a leak? Like, yeah. did they have two of them? The two big ones were apparently leaks that had been repaired, and they've got provided the documentation of the repairs. And the and we have validated that it's not leaking anymore because the bills have gone back to normal. So these were like from March and April. Are these homeowners businesses? Yeah, homeowners. Five thousand dollars, please. Over what period of time? It was a for the quarter. I, I don't know how big a pipe and how big a leak. I don't I don't know how that happens, but it was the homeowner on East Spirit Street, one on Green Street, one on Green Street, one on Route 89. So in the future, can we have um, how we had it before in terms of yeah. the document? Uh, and then they prepared it. Okay. Yes, All I'm right. sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. I, just I have the individual. Uh, if anybody wants to see them, the can I see them, please? Yep. And does anybody in our office? Like, if somebody comes, there's one on here for twelve dollars and sixty-six cents. That's a pool. Yeah. yeah but you only get credit. you get one. No, that's not that. This is not a leak credit. It's a pool credit. It's a when you. So you, you get a pool, pool credit and a leak credit. You, yes. It's pool credits you can get every year. It's normal business. For that's filling your pool. pool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have no. to get a special? Yeah. Um, no, no. sewer. Don't, you don't so, get sewer. So if you're filling your pool up, you need to come to the water department. Office and get a uh, <clears throat> get a meter 
formula uh, that will bypass and so they take a reading. So you don't have to pay any sewer tax for the water. Yeah, you still have to pay for the water. Yeah, that's the twelve dollar. The twelve dollar credit's like the credit for the sewer. When I fill my pool up, I just hook up my hose to the fire hydrant out front. And <laughs> well, I got a septic system, so it doesn't help me. I don't do that. I don't do that. And one of these was a um, new homeowner on um, Joanne Avenue and something happened at the closing in the billing system added things to their bill that we can't figure out. So I'll we'll trust John's eagle eyes. And now. keep in mind that hopefully uh, with the new water meter project that uh, we'll be able to detect drops in pressure, et cetera, et cetera. So some of this stuff will be... Uh, so stay tuned for February because you're going to see a really, really, really big one coming in February. Big, really big. Big credit? The college is having problems. North, Northeastern, they can't find the leak. What a college. They've been looking for a while. They've had contractors in there, uh, and we've helped them out. And still haven't identified it, right, Joe? Nope. They, they've got to be able to identify where it is, right? The it's building was isolated. Uh, the last two years, it's been taking a little long to find leaks. We've tried to help. Um, they called in leak detectors, and they found the last one. Now they have a new one. Most likely, we're going to go visit this week. I make a motion. Thank you. Second. Okay. All in favor, paying the credits, please say aye. Aye. I have paid them. Forgive them. Okay. Uh, have a motion to pay the bills. So I make the motion. Second. Second. Did you forget something? Yeah, that's number X. Yeah. Well, we're going to pay the bills first because I don't want to keep the people here. Okay. okay. So, right, yeah, made a motion and uh, motion and second to pay the bills. All in favor, please say aye. 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 You're up, Frank. Okay. I'd like to uh, have an executive session on personnel matter uh, under Public Officers Law, Section 105F. I make, I make second that. Is anybody <laughs> going to be invited to this executive session? Uh, Mm -hmm. and the you what? Nick, you invited the town manager and attorney to the town. Will there be any action taken from this executive session? No. No action required. I have a motion and a second to enter executive session. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you, folks. Have a good night. <laughs> good day. Thank you.